Okay, there are a few techniques of integration. Okay, integration by parts. Integration by partial fraction, trigonometric power, trigonometric substitution, and U substitution and table of integrals. Okay, U substitution and tables of integrals we have learned before in, uh, in chapter 1. Now we look at the techniques of integration by using integration by parts. Okay, integration by parts. Okay, normally, okay, we use this formula. This formula is from product rules. Formula of differentiation, product rules. So we want to differentiate uh, the, the multiplication of u times v. The product, ru the product rules, u times v. So we apply the product rules. Okay, uh, u times dv over dx, okay, plus v times du over dx. Then we get this equation. Okay, duv equal to u dv plus v du. We eliminate dx. Okay, then we, we integrate both sides. Okay, integrate both sides. Integrate. Okay, become this, this. Okay, need first, uh, first equation, second equation. Okay, become third equation. Okay, integrate duv is, we find uv lah. So, equal to integrate u dv plus v integrate v du. Okay, then we want to find the integration of u dv. This one. So, we bring integration of v du into the left hand side. So, it becomes the the fourth equation eh? integrate v d u d v equal to u v minus integrate v d u so number four ni dia punya integration by parts integration of u d v equal to u v minus integration of v d u <coughs> this is what is known as integration by parts Integration by parts. The background of integration by parts, the proving, is from the product rules. Differentiation. <coughs> okay. So, okay, integration by parts. Okay, normally it involves the Liate rules. We have learned before in limit and L'Hopital rules. What is the Liate rules? Okay, Liate rules is generally helpful but there is always exception. Okay, choose u to be function that comes first in the following list. Okay, I want to cari formula untuk by parts. Dia ada by parts yang tadi kan. You have to choose U and DV and that's me, U and DV. U and DV. Let's choose U and DV. Integration U by plus U and DV. So it could be U V minus U D. So U are depend kepada ni lah. Which function come first? U times DV. So it depends on Liate rules ni. 
L is logarithmic function, I is inverse trigonometric function, A is algebraic function, T is trigon trigonometric function, and E is exponential function. <coughs> Okay, let's look at example one. Okay, evaluate the integration of ln x dx. Okay, by using the integration by parts. Okay, so this question use the integration by parts. So mesti kena guna method ni lah. Tak boleh guna method lain. Untuk ni, kena ikut soalan. In integration by parts, by parts. So we, uh, we have to choose u and dv. Let's see, u and dv. So it depend on lateros. Lateros. U is depend on lateros. Okay, kat sini dia ada one function only and ln x. So u is ln x. Lah. And dv is, uh, dv is dx. Hmm, dx. So dv is dx. Okay, so u. Okay, we we differentiate u with respect to x. Okay, become one over one over x dx. Uh, differentiate me u. So become du equal to one over x dx, and then we integrate dv equal to dx, we integrate uh, dx, uh, we integrate dx, v, we want to find v, so we integrate dx, so equal to x, we integrate 1x, one x, as many, one x. <coughs> okay, then we apply uh, the formula of integration by parts, uh, uv minus integrate v du. So u v u is ln x v is x. Ini ln x u v and u v ln x times x. Okay minus v d u integrate. Okay v is x and then d u. Ni 1 over x dx. We can we can simplify this integration. So it becomes integrate dx. So I will integrate lah. Integrate dx is negative x. And the answer is x ln x minus x plus c. So untuk integration always has constant lah for indefinite integrals. So, you can add a constant C. <coughs> okay, boleh faham? Boleh faham? Boleh, madam. Okay. We look at second example. Evaluate integration of exponent x cos x dx using integration by parts. Integration by parts. Okay, according to Liate, we choose either exponent and trigonometric, which come first. Then. So in this Liate, okay, we choose trigonometric first. So u equal to cos x and dv equal to exponent dx. Okay, then u we differentiate u with respect to x. So it becomes inilah, negative sign x dx. So du over dx. Okay, for dv, 
the v want to we want to find v so we integrate integrate dv integrate with respect to x so i can jadi yang ni lah exponent x we integrate exponent x with respect to x and then we apply uh, integration by parts formula integration by parts uv minus integration v du so uv u is cos x v is exponent x masukkan ok minus v du v is exponent x v du du is negative sin x dx so ni awak kita dapat yang ni lah jawapan ni so untuk yang ni ni pun kita tak boleh automatic automatic integrate kan untuk yang ni exponent x sin x dx so we have to perform the integration by parts one more time untuk yang ni integration by parts sama juga cara dia sama you are kena uh, kena pilih antara u and dv in this in this we choose u equal to sin x sin x and dv equal to exponent x then we find du over dx equal to cos x so dia ikut tu cos x dx. Okay V. Okay you want to find V so we integrate exponent x with respect to dx. So ikut tu exponent x. Then awak masukkan lah ni uv minus integrate V du. Okay, dapat lagi sekali yang ni kan. Ha, ni pun tak boleh, tak boleh integrate juga. Okay, tak boleh. Tak apa, you all gantikan dalam yang original. Original, original question yang ni kan. Original question yang ni. Exponent, integrate exponent x cos x dx. So, masukkan. Okay, yang ni tadi dah dapat first, first integration dapat exponent x cos x ha, ni dapat sini exponent x cos x ni ok minus ni kan minus ni kan ok jap ok yang ni dia dapat ah uh, plus ha, kena plus lah sebab minus 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 so dia akan jadi plus Okay, so plus masukkan yang ni subscript yang ni nak dapat ni subscript dalam ni so akan dapat exponent x sin x okay minus exponent x cos x dx integrate exponent x cos x dx Okay so yang ni pun kita perlu differentiate lagi sekali lah. Okay yang ni awak tengok untuk uh, left hand side ada sama. Fungsi yang sama. Sebenarnya x cos x. Yang ni pun sama. So boleh kita boleh combine kan. Join kan. So dia bawa ke left hand side lah. So dia akan jadi 2 integral of x pun x cos x dx. So tu ni buat ke sebelah Give up by 2 So dapatlah jawapan untuk exponent X dx
Boleh? Untuk yang ni biasa, biasa nyanyi uh, You all dah dua, buat dua kali tak boleh, uh, kita combine kan Dia punya integration ni Okay, alternative solution tu ni If we try the different The different U and DV Kita terbalikkan, jadi U equal to cos X dx kan And DV is exponent X Okay, alternative solution tu we apply The different way Kita terbalik lah So sama juga, solution dia awak, awak akan dapat macam tadi juga Awak kena integrate dua kali Integration by parts Two times lah untuk ni, sama So tak kisahlah sama ada nak guna Liatir rules ataupun yang ni Ni contoh kita terbalikkan Dia pun akan dapat yang sama jugalah Dia akan kena buat dua kali First one ni Dia tak akan dapat simply Dia tak akan, sim, dia tak akan dapat simple function kan So awak kena integrate lagi sekali ni pun still ada juga dia punya uh, integration sama lah ni kita join kan ni sebelah sini kita dapat yang sama so both latte and let rule can be used ok the part integrate v du in both choice are the same So in this, it doesn't matter what is your choice for you and DV. So tapi utama kita depend kepada ni lah, liatir rules. Okay, example 3. Okay, based on liatir rules. Okay, so we choose u equal to x lah. And sin x is dv. So we differentiate u, du over dx. It gets du over dx and uh, we integrate sin x dx to get v, the value of v so we get v equal to negative cos x anyway, integrating dv to obtain v uh, don't worry about adding an arbitrary constant we will do at the end So ni kat sini tak perlu tak perlu add constant pun tak apalah sebab untuk last nanti kita akan add constant juga untuk ini. So we apply uh, the formula integration by parts. This formula. U B minus integration of V D U. So X times V of cos X K minus integrate K V negative cos X du, du is dx, dx so ni akan jadi plus so integrate cos x ni simple lah integrate terus kan, kita perlu gunakan integration by parts lagi so simple function terus integrate so akan dapat sin x so plus c Okay, ada soalan? Yang ni kena ingat lah integration by parts formula ni Okay, so tu last example for integration by parts Okay, this notes is from uh, your future Reference from your future Okay, ada soalan?
Tak ada. Boleh faham? Faham dulu. Ya, madam. Okey, faham. Nanti saya akan bagi tas yang baru. Okey, tas yang baru ha, ada. Ha, ya, ada soalan? Ha, yang liati dengan liat. <laughs> liai. Ha, I dengan T tu terbalik pun sama je. Ha, biasa. Biasa kita ikut yang ni lah dulu. Liati ni. Ha, yang tadi tu dia nak prove kan kalau awak guna liat tu pun akan dapat yang sama juga. Tapi maksudnya ha, guna liati je lah. Lagi-lagi guna liati je lah. Kalau terbalik pun sama juga.